One can follow the sun, of course, but I have always thought that it is best to know some winter too, so that the summer, when it arrives, is the more gratefully received. I do an awful lot of thinking and dreaming about things in the past and the future, the timelessness of the rocks and the hills, all the people who have existed there. I prefer winter and fall when you feel the bone structure of the landscape, the loneliness of it, the dead feeling of winter. Something waits beneath it, the whole story doesn't show. December has the clarity, the simplicity, and the silence you need for the best fresh ST art of your life. In the middle of winter I at last discovered that there was in me an invincible summer. At this season of the year, darkness is a more insistent thing than cold. The days are short as any dream. I know the look of an apple that is roasting and sizzling on the hearth on a winter's evening, and I know the comfort that comes of eating it hot, along with some sugar and a drench of cream. I know how the nuts taken in conjunction with winter apples, cider, and donuts make old people's tales and old jokes sound fresh and crisp and enchanting. She stuck her head out and took a deep breath. If she could eat the cold air, she would. It reminded me of what Dad said after every snail's crawl home from Albany when snow hit. It's New York, people. It's winter. We get snow. If you aren't prepared to deal with it, move to Miami. It seems like everything sleeps in winter, but it's really a time of renewal and reflection. There is an instinctive withdrawal for the sake of preservation, a closure that assumes the order of completion. Winter is a season unto itself. In December, the wind wraps itself around bare trees and twists in between husbands and wives asleep in their beds. It shakes the shingles from the roofs and sifts through cracks in the plaster. The only green things left are the holly bushes and the old boxwood hedges in the village, and these are often painted white with snow. Chipmunks and weasels come to nest in basements and barns. Owls find their way into attics. At night, the dark is blue and bluer still, a sapphire of night. Ice is most welcome in a cold drink on a hot day, but in the heart of winter, you want a warm hot mug with your favorite soothing brew to keep a chill away. When you don't have anything warm at hand, even a memory can be a small substitute. How many lessons of faith and beauty we should lose if there were no winter in our year? Laughter is the sun that drives winter from the human face. No animal, according to the rules of animal etiquette, is ever expected to do anything strenuous or heroic, or even moderately active during the off-season of winter. What good is the warmth of summer? without the cold of winter to give it sweetness. Snowing is an attempt of God to make the dirty world look clean. By March, the worst of the winter would be over. The snow would thaw, the rivers begin to run, and the world would wake into itself again. It snowed all week. Wheels and footsteps moved soundlessly on the street, as if the business of living continued secretly behind a pale but impenetrable curtain. In the falling quiet, there was no sky or earth, only snow lifting in the wind, frosting the window glass, chilling the rooms, deadening and hushing the city. We feel cold, but we don't mind it, because we will not come to harm. And if we wrapped up against the cold, we wouldn't feel other things, like the bright tingle of the stars, or the music of the aurora, or best of all the silky feeling of moonlight on our skin. It's worth being cold for that. Thank goodness for the first snow, it was a reminder. No matter how old you became and how much you'd seen, things could still be new if you were willing to believe they still mattered. When old winter puts his blank face to the glass, I shall close all my shutters, pull the curtains tight, and build me stately palaces by candlelight. Winter is the time for comfort, for good food and warmth, for the touch of a friendly hand, and for a talk beside the fire. It is the time for home. 